Summer Show, New Kid on the Block. As you can see, we are all in our best freshman attire, neglecting the fact that only uh, everyone but three of us here are actual freshmen. So, I mean, but uh, yeah, so we're going to go down the line and introduce, our <coughs> introduce ourselves. My name's Elijah, he, him. I mean, come on! <laughs> <laughs> What's a star doing under- Is that an eel? hours ago era. <laughs> dinosaurs. Wait, like this is like actual like the dinosaurs, not not the food chain. Yeah, okay. Okay. Y'all ever seen Jurassic Park? Okay. Now that was like a great idea. Hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> Here we have uh, another dinosaur. It appears to be made entirely out of bones. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get a new suggestion, please? Therapist! Shooter. I heard therapist. Yes. Right, okay, so that's, that's interesting, but do you want to hear about how my Friday went? <laughs> <laughs> it seems you have a severe case of sucking bag. <laughs> You just told me a, th uh, a half hour story about how your husband left you a skill issue. Here's the bill. <laughs> Hold on, can you say that again? I'm trying to text my mom about it. <laughs> so, have you heard of this cool guy called Freud? <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. Have you ever tried not feeling that way? <laughs> this appointment has been brought to you by BetterHelp. <laughs> Part 
was when your goldfish died. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> You're spelling out to me your entire life story, and I, I get that it's like it's like kind of traumatic this part, but like who asked? <laughs> Listen, I didn't come here for you to trauma dump. <laughs> I know I'm like not paid to judge, but like. <laughs> so I'm not actually qualified, but you're still paying me, so I guess it's therapy. <laughs> from now. <laughs> Where did I get my degree? Oh, Amazon University. <laughs> uh, a new suggestion, please. Candlestick maker. Olivia. Professor. Professor. Serial killer? Sure, we'll go with that. Mm, I don't think this can stab anything.
Your choice. The uh, history museum. <laughs> What's my history? Um, uh, the, 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 the Civil War Museum. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! <laughs> what a fun field trip for you guys! Yeah, I love first grade field trips! Oh. Woohoo! Jeez, my legs hurt! <laughs> <laughs> them off. Welcome to the Civil War Museum. This is our five collection statues of Robert E. Lee. <laughs> this is one where he's holding a gun. This is one where he's holding a piece of paper. This is one where he's holding a book. <laughs> this is one where he's holding the beheaded head of Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> this is one where he's holding... He's kind of going for a first grade. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just here. I mean, like, didn't you come with a bus driver? I mean, I just host the tours here. I don't care about the content. Wait, hey, where's my teacher? Just me? <laughs> <laughs> of Robert E. Lee and one statue of Ulysses. <laughs> yes. uh, we should go to the gift shop. Grant, it, it's Grant Roulette. Go <laughs> <laughs> to the gift shop. Okay. I have five holdouts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I also have ten dollars. Three so choice. Seventeen dollars. Three choice. shirt is going to run you $20,000. Yo! <laughs> Does it fit? Hold on. Please don't touch the artifacts. Your right? choice. <laughs> Only I can touch the artifacts. Your choice. But if it's for sale. Only my supervisor can touch the artifacts. Your choice. It's not for sale. I lied to you. <laughs> <laughs> We're never going to get anything at this gift shop. And we didn't even see the museum. We kind of just like skipped. We just like did the statues. Yeah. <laughs> Our no loitering policy. Okay, it's a museum. Okay. Okay, we'll buy something. It's fine. <laughs> so, the pen and the magnet. Magnet. How many dollars? Can 50,000. Your choice. 51,000. Your choice. 50,000 and one. <laughs> yes. Pennies. Dollars. For this. For a pen magnet. and a magnet. I'm inclined to agree with this bus driver. That was the only thing that's a real pen. And again, if you haven't heard earlier, you have that is the life-size magnet that you're talking about. No, I grabbed the, the little one, remember? Yeah, the fridge magnet. Uh, okay, the 
Okay, wait. Qu- I, I, have a, I have a really important question, though, okay? Do you think ballpoint pens existed when in the 1800s when Ulysses S. Grant was alive? No, nah, they totally had feather pens. Yeah. Big old feather pens, and then they would write letters like, Dear Theodosia, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Call this up with my supervisor real quick. Go for a pen. Oh no, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Yes, it's so much trouble. You did nothing wrong. Uh, I'm just six. (laughs) Did you? Did one of you try to steal a pen? Is that what I'm hearing? No, 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 we did not. We just want to buy it, and we just want a a certification. That money is counterfeit. Mr. Supervisor, I don't have any money. Hold on. I can tell. I think I can negotiate with them. You're I've got six years of experience. (laughs) 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 I make it snap. Just uh, write down a fake ID here. Like, 
go. My name shall be um, Jason Schneider. Okay, and then I live in Santa Monica. All right, I think that's good enough. Ah, now to celebrate my perfect evasion. Like this. Oh, and I think I have a fellow criminal. <laughs> good day, Benjamin. How you hey, doing? Hey, Robbie. How's it going? They think they're going good. <sighs> Smell that sweet air. It's I so was, good. I was just <laughs> able to get a fake ID. Oh, that's perfect. We got my last weekend. <laughs> yeah, it's and it's great because, man, it's really hard to dodge the police when you trip over nothing. I know, I know. I, I, I'm telling you, I had to spend a while. I got, I got, you know how much money we got? I spent so much of it already. Oh, really? What'd you spend it on? Oh, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I want to know. Unless I had a good weekend. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Yeah. All right. Well, you want to put something on TV? Oh, sure, 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 sure. What you got? I think I heard a knock. Ah, good day, Ripper. Oh, you must not remember me. It's been seven years since that robbery. My name's Jason. And if it's- Sit up, Martha. Who are you? I told you, my name is Jason. I just made a fake ID with that. Here, why don't, why don't you sit down? We're having a party to celebrate my new fake ID, so. Anyway, um, so it's been a while. What do you like to do? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure exactly what you know. Oh, that was another knock. <coughs> hey, Renee, hey, what's Ronnie. up? How you doing? <laughs> How are you? All right, were you able to were you able to get those wires transferred? Maybe. Ah, uh, well, that's a shame. <laughs> My cold porch. Well, here, uh, sit down. Oh, I'm sorry, the chairs are taken. But we we do have Seinfeld on TV. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's my it's my least favorite show. <laughs> Personally, I'm more of an I'm more of an Adam Conover kind of guy myself, but maybe that's because he cons over. Uh, <laughs> mommy. What's the deal with that? I hate myself for saying that. <laughs> uh, did you put it on the door again? <laughs> well, they would have opened it if it weren't locked or something. <laughs> <laughs>
I'll get back to you. Can you tell me where? <laughs> oh, sorry. The, the coat closet, uh, it's right there. Okay. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, Renee. Hey, man. So, you enjoying that? I sure am. I found a new ball of yarn under your chair. A new ball of yarn? <laughs> you seem. You're not a cat, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, just, I never had a cat before, so I, I feel like they're all in the yarn. Who knows, maybe you're just... That's a stereotype. I, I know, I am so sorry. Another one to add to my collection. Another one to add to your collection? <laughs> Nothing. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, you're confusing me here. Do you just steal locks all the time? I mean, <laughs> I mean, only on weekends. You're not a pet, are you? Uh, that's just like, you know, again with the accusation. I thought we were good friends. I mean, I respect petty thievery. After all, I watched the movie Nightcrawler. But... <laughs> yeah, sorry. I, you know, my, my mom still keeps the parental controls on the TV. That one's locked. I, I see, I see. River, what are you doing? Where's the door? I'm trying to get down the river. I think I took a wrong turn. You're not playing. You want me to jiggle these in front of you? No. Sure, man. I'm looking for the I door. I need to see the door. <laughs> Young people lost their common sense. Oh, I see. So you're old and your eyesight's not as good anymore. Maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe. <laughs> anyway, anyway, you're not senile, are you? I can't tell you one way or the other. <laughs> I've been trying to find my I'm way through here. Do you have Alzheimer's? Deal with it. Do I? I don't know. Maybe yeah. you do. I don't know. You tell me. Oh, yeah. No, that's looking good, though. Sorry, did you say sweater? I sure am. You seem like you're really into knitting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I said that all right. Oh well, here. Uh, let me show let me show you the way to this really good yarn store. Oh. Alright, here it's we go. No, alright, here we go. <laughs> Before you go, uh, yep, you're in Yoshi's story now. <laughs> Are you sure you can't see? This is a door. No, that's the wall. It's the wall containing all my deadly knives. I'm trying to find a door. Help me out here. Oh, I have a few things I could help with opening doors. <laughs> you're, you're really into lock picking, aren't you? Well, I mean, that's a little presumptuous of you. There. I mean, you know, that's real offensive to my community of lock pickers. I'm sorry. I, I just don't have a filter. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Sometimes the key to life is just being honest. Hey, what are you doing with the chair? I'm trying to see if I can break open a door somewhere. <laughs> You're not locked in here, you know. I feel like I am. It's been it's been two hours, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Are you lost? <laughs>
hand if you're not familiar. Doesn't matter, I can't see you anyway. <laughs> Sounds like a song we're gonna be doing just kind of, kind of like open scenes, kind of chillax, kind of neat, kind of fun. And then someone from the back line will be like, that sounds like a song, and then we have to sing it. Huh. So, let's play. Oh, no, don't clap. <laughs> we need a suggestion. What would you want to find in your shoe? A million dollars, passport. I'll go with passport. Yeah, touchdown, let's go. <laughs> yes, finally, the Bills won. It sounds like a song. I'm the average man from Rochester, <laughs> and my entire personality revolves around football. And all I can say that is that with my position, there isn't too far to fall. <laughs> hey, hey, Regina, come on. Look at it. Look, 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 they scored it. They did it. I think Oh, thank you so much, yeah. dear. Yeah. Uh, they scored? Yeah. Yeah, they did. Oh, that's sweet. Oh, oh my I'm God. Sure. Oh, I love you, Bill. I told you. <laughs> Violation. I see you're not wearing a reflective vest. That's another violation. It's too 
getting warm out here. I see you're not wearing hard soul, hard toed shoes, not a violation. Oh, and the drill's not being set up properly. Fourth violation. That sounds like a song. I love giving Charles, what's that you're working on? Fixin'. Fixin'? Yes. Fixin'. What, kind, what thing are you fixin'? Fixin' the machine. Oh, I <laughs> see. What kind of machine? Is it a machine that allows us to print ink cartridges? Infinite ink cartridges. Infinite ink cartridges? <laughs> That's better than that animation studio I used to work at. That place <laughs> sucked. Yeah. It's almost done. <laughs> Gotta get it just right. We're just missing one thing. What thing are we missing? Sounds like a song. Charlie, I know you've got the same name as me. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we are requiring one more thing for this machine. What is that thing we require? <laughs> magenta. <laughs> oh, magenta! That's convenient. Ah, come in! Hey, be magenta. Ah, magenta! <laughs> what kind of timing? Here, do you mind uh, getting close to that machine right there? I need yeah! You've got the perfect skill set, skill set to help me finish my machine. Oh, you forgot to press the button. Boop. Whoa! Oh my gosh! That's so complex. Way it, harder than that animation studio. It's uh, a cartridge. I'm nothing. Wow! You know what this means, right? I have to shred myself and put my blood into this. Here, let me, let me, hold on, let me just... Well, uh, maybe I shouldn't have drank that. at home and you got a kid and a kid <laughs> and they're missing me because I've been out for 72 hours <laughs> they are just working day and night trying to take care of all these patients cause we're nurses at the local hospital <laughs> <laughs> and we take care of senile <laughs> We're putting catheters in, changing bedpans, and I've never seen so much pee in my life. 
next game is Highlander, and can I can I please have a suggestion for something that you would find in your living room? A, a couch, a, a box, carpet, Minecraft, I like the I like the carpet. improviser and you are going to clap for your favorite improviser. Yeah, we're gonna, 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 we're gonna
I get a suggestion for something that you don't want in your basement? Pickles. I heard pickles. All right, we're going to run a generator real quick called spinach. Spinach. Uh, Wait, no, that was the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Pickles. Brine. Party. Hat. Shoe. Lace. Feet. <laughs> Brain. Sour. Sweet. Pickles. I just love being a factory worker, don't you? Another day at the pickle factory, right, Billy? That's right. It's where we make pickles. I love pickles. Mm. Mm, yeah. <laughs> anyway, how have you been doing recently? We haven't talked much. Oh, you know, same old, same old. I uh, eat pickles because that's basically my wages. <laughs> Man. You, do you have a family to go back to? Well, you know, I got my wife and kids, but they're just, they're just not the same. They're just not the same after the pickles, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I heard that people who work at pickle factories statistically have a, uh, a, uh, a higher chance of being dissatisfied. Really? Yeah. It's got something to do with the vinegar. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't say I'm dissatisfied. I love pickles. Well, what would you call it then? Uh, Do we need to have a therapy session? <laughs> well, okay, ever since I got this job, I just, I feel like day in, day out, all I can think of is pickles. There's pickles everywhere. When I close my eyes at night, pickles raining from the sky. Yes. So, uh, you're telling me about a John over there, right? <laughs> He's just... He's so manic about the pickles. Oh, you said something about the vinegar? He, he just keeps talking about how all he can think of is pickles and vinegar and all of the stuff that goes into making pickles, which I, I guess makes sense because we, we do work in a pickle factory. This is a pickle factory. <laughs> At this point, I'm starting to think that his whole family is a pickle. Dad, I think you should look into that. You know HR won't do it. <laughs> they won't, trust me. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for being the only person here that cares. Why is there a therapist in my office? <laughs> well, they, uh, there's just one employee. Mm -hmm. His name is John Eddie. Oh, that name. That name. <laughs> Why are you speaking on his behalf? You see, I've been... I'm a metadata reporter, <laughs> and it seems as though Pickles is running John's life. <laughs> well, you might say he runs our life as the pickle factory, and you can't have a pickle without a few cucumbers, as my old pappy used to say. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. It's just, it seems as though it's an alarming side effect of working at the pickle factory. Listen, I've been thinking about pickles for years, and all I can say is, it's, 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 how I, it's, how I, it's how I deal with things. I mean, wait a second, are you writing this down? Uh, uh, I mean, well, I guess you're licensed. I mean, it's, you know, it's... Dad, can you give me advice for this paper that I'm writing? Why cucumbers are the best food? Sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. <laughs> Your mother and I must not have raised you right. But I don't think you do. Everything has to be a pickle metaphor. You can't just say, oh, you know, it's a great day out. It's, oh, you know, the pickles are smiling today. <laughs> <laughs> like that, you know? Yeah, and they're very juicy, like the jar yeah. of pickle juice. You literally I mean, don't it's... think of anything other than pickles. My middle name is Pickle! <laughs> <laughs> 
Vasquez, Mar Marjorie Pickle Cucumber. <laughs> but you know what? Listen, sometimes the pickles are what we learn along the way. <laughs> Yeah. So what do you think so far? Again, as I, I cannot believe that you won't even listen to me. Cucumbers, seriously. I mean, listen, if you just poured these in a little bit of vinegar, <laughs> you'd be all okay, but no. <laughs> hey, so uh, you're, the, you're the boss's kid, right? Yeah. Yeah, bring your child to work day? <laughs> uh, you, you wanna learn about how to make pickles? I, I've seen it for the last okay, 17 so you pour years in the of my broth. life. You don't seem too enthused about pickles. This is the 17th year in a row that I've been brought to bring your child to work day. Oh, you know all about the process. Though. Yeah, I could probably do it. Do you want me to try? Yeah, go okay. for it. I mean, you usually need like a pickle license, but uh, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. It's never different, it's fine. Cut to the child being named employee of the month. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot believe I am saying this. Here is my daughter, Miss Cucumber, <laughs> employee of the month at my own pickle factory. And no nepotism here. Employee of the month? <laughs> Excuse me. I told you, I do a 17, 17 consecutive child, uh, bring your child to work day experiences. Yeah, no, I've no, been no. here for 35 years. <laughs> I make pickles all day, every day. Sometimes I don't go home to sleep. <laughs> and what do I get for it? Nothing but more pickles. <laughs> it's the pickles that are your dreams. And your dreams <laughs> are pickles. How did you know? Because. How did you know? Listen, boss, all that we're trying to tell you is that maybe you should think about giving one of us the employee of the month. How about this? You're the employee of the barrel of pickles that is our lives, people. <laughs> that Not good, good enough. Does it Nothing come with a raise? Mm. Well, I guess that means more pickles for you and more pickles yes. for me. So you know what? That's it. That is a pickle deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, more pickles. Yeah. It, you might say it's a win-win in pickle terms. I'm gonna go back to go making pickles. <laughs> As you should. I just don't understand my dad sometimes. Like, all he ever thinks about is pickles. I've had to eat pickles every single day. Of course, of course. Like, for all the other things that I've had in my life. That must be a real challenge for you. Like, like they were good at first, but now it's like, you know, I'm just tired of them, you know? And it's like, I think I need to rebel against the family somehow. Have you tried the dill blend? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a whole nother variety of pickles out there. I, I sure am, yes. <laughs> I, I thought you would know this. Oh. You've only had the, what are the other kinds of the, the I don't know any other kinds of pickles. <laughs> <laughs> You've only had the, the non-dill pickles before. That's what, what the factory only produces. I was shut off from a world that involved dill pickles. <laughs> this was a, a, a realization that I just realized right now. It's going well. Yeah. <laughs> I heard you had an issue. <laughs> this is confidential. <laughs> I, I heard you through the intercom. Oh, she keeps the intercom on. <laughs> anyway, I heard that you've never heard of a dill. Have you heard of a bread and a butter? That's what the factory only produces. Well, I can get you. I can open your eyes to a whole new pickle world. <laughs> if only you'll follow my instructions. How do you think my father and your boss would react to me trying all the new flavors? I don't know. He wouldn't like it. We need to keep this a secret. Turn off the intercom. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go with my pickles. My own daughter. 
Dill pickles, seriously? I mean, hey, they're pickles, right? <laughs> I guess. Anything once, for more pickles? Once a pickle, <laughs> always a pickle. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo! laughs> and that was Laurent. Smell is his aura. 
<laughs> you see what I'm dealing with, right? Why would you not bring your three-year-old back home? I can't. The fish provides. <laughs> a demon or something. Yeah, uh, so uh, I'm the local Wegmans employee, Donna. You named me, which is really weird, might I add. What? The fish provides. <laughs> <laughs> needs a new host now. <laughs> Donna. Okay, yes, it's demons. I'm yep, it was demons. <laughs> <laughs> Donna. Let me get 
those bands off the claws for you. All right! <laughs> all right. Now, do we have the tank? Do we have the water? Do oh, we, we have, have it already at home. Are you sure about that? Promise me that you have the Cut to the first night with Larry the Lobster. <laughs> all right, so I put him in the bathtub. All right! <laughs> That's my thing, if you can't tell already. I, I thought you said that we had like a tank for him. What do you think this is? How was I gonna take a bath? What is a bathtub if not a lobster tank? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you don't mind getting a little Larry wet. Tuesday, there's a 